Hey, hello, dear Swift learners. How are you all? I hope that you all are very safe and fine at your homes. And here I am back for you again, bringing with me a very new lesson. Now, before seeing what our new lesson is all about, we will be having a quick tour around Swift Learn to see what is Swift Learn all about. Now, Swift Learn it is India's most sincere learning destination, wherein we provide the classes for grade one to grade ten. Over here, you will be getting live interactive classes with maximum six students in every batch. Plus, we have an academic mentor team who which will be tracking your progress and will be guiding you throughout your sessions. Also, we cover your syllabus as per your school exam schedule, so you perform amazingly well there. Also, now there are some of the key features of Swift Learn which makes it all the more special, and these include detailed progress report. We have Swiftland Academic Test Series, and also you can take unlimited practice tests, which include again two categories of subjective and objective. So please book your free trial class on Swiftland and have all these amazing experiences by yourself. Please subscribe to the channel of Swiftland and press the bell icon so that you do not miss any amazing update by Swiftland. And press on like button if you like the video. All right. So we were doing allergies, and uh, it is our second session for allergy, in which we are going to cover the types of allergy, the diagnosis of allergy, and precautions of allergy. Now, let's revise what we have studied in our last class. So we had a quick uh, uh, description about allergy and what are the different allergens, right? So we studied about allergy, allergens, and what is entry route of allergens, and what are some of the symptoms of allergy. So question one number one says list some pet allergens and some food allergens. So the pet allergens can be like some people can have this allergy from hair of dog, cat, maybe rabbit, etc., and even some insects. And food allergens like some people are allergic to milk, some are allergic to meat or um, eggs, etc. Name some allergic reactions. So it can be fever, it can be sneezing, wheezing, coughing, uh, shortness of breath, etc. L write some symptoms of allergy. So talking about the symptoms, some people uh, they have this uh, shortness of breath. Some people are not very comfortable in the dust area. Then some people have abdominal uh, pain, uh, headaches, etc. Now, today we are going to see the types of allergy. So, on the basis of this time period or the time period of which the allergy la uh, lasts, it is divided into two categories, which is seasonal allergy and perennial allergy. Now, talking about seasonal allergy, it is you know it happens only during certain time of year. It is not a lifelong or it is not like a whole year long. It is happening during a certain period. Okay, basically, it occurs when moles release their spores and trees, grasses and weeds. They release tiny pollen grains or pollen particles into air to fertilize other plants. So, if a child develops a cold at any uh, particular time of every year, so that becomes our seasonal allergy. And some of the symptoms are coughing, sneezing, itchy nose, nasal congestion, or clear runny nose and the allergic reactions can be sneezing itchy nose then we have nasal congestion and again clear runny nose now what are allergic reactions we can have high fever sometimes uh, it can lead to asthma also it can be food allergies and it can be dermatitis perennial in the allergy are those allergy which are happening throughout the year Okay, it doesn't depend on any season. It doesn't happen seasonally, and these are generally indoor allergies, such as uh, allergy due to dust, pet, etc. So here we have asthma. Then uh, we can uh, have various other like uh, coughing, sneezing, also due to the dust particles. Now diagnosis of allergy. Asthma. So it is one of the non-infectious disease which is characterized by attack of breathlessness and wheezing symptoms of affected persons so the person who is affected from asthma uh, he or she has this complaint of breathlessness and tiredness 
so it can appear uh, maybe several times in a day or in a week so these are asthma attacks which can happen uh, many times in a day also or in a week also symptoms of asthma are short breath sleeplessness daytime fatigue and reduced stamina so our energy drastically goes down in asthma and allergic substances for asthma are if i talk about indoor substances these are house dust mites then we have pollution and some pet animals and outdoor substances can be pollens molds or tobacco smoke next is hay fever which is also known as allergic rhinitis so it is seasonal allergy which is characterized by our nasal stiffness sneezing itching of mouth ear and nasal itching so the itching occurs here uh, over this area the symptoms are again pollen so it can cause a uh, nose and eyes throats and sinuses to become the swollen irritated and inflamed and that is why itching occurs and prevention can be like we do not have any particular prevention but uh, there is only one thing that we can do we can keep away from the plants or substances that cause it next is nettle rash which is also known as urticaria or hives so again we have some rashes and itchy rashes on our skin okay and this rash its range is like few millimeters or maybe to size of full hand now the cause is histamine and some chemicals uh, on the skin and also sometimes extra leakage fluid they cause swelling and itchiness and what's the treatment so again we do not need any particular treatment because it happens and it gets better in some of the days and we can also take antihistamines okay so to treat itchiness next is eczema so eczema it is also known as dermatitis so what is happening here is the rashes they appear on our face back of our knees wrist hand or feet so we have this rashes appearance and um, the body part which is affected by this it becomes dry and scaly the symptoms can be uh, it it can be related to hyperaction of our immune system and uh, sometimes it is also found in families who have some allergic background now talking about prevention of allergy how to prevent allergies first of all cushions and all the soft toys that we have we should be washing them regularly then any person who is uh, prone to allergy uh, he or she should be using synthetic pillows pets they should be avoided in bedrooms then we uh, it is advised to check weather count, count uh, report for pollen count okay so if we are allergic to pollen then we should get out only when this count is a bit low and breastfeeding it should be for first 4 months of life and we should be including vitamin c and e and also omega 3 fat in our diet okay so now let us answer some of the questions what is or urticaria and what are the symptoms so it is a kind of itchy rash which occurs on our skin okay so due to some of the chemicals and uh, we have swelling and itchiness on our skin so we do not need any particular um, treatment for this because it gets better in some days explain different type of allergy in a uh, detail so we have two type of allergy one is seasonal and one is perennial so seasonal it occurs during a certain time of the year like for example if someone gets cold in a particular month so that is seasonal and perennial it lasts throughout the year it can be uh, asthma okay so it it is not uh, happening in one or two months it is occurring throughout the year okay then we have uh, endless various precautionary measures which must be taken into account to avoid allergy so first of all we should be washing our cushions or soft toys then pets we should be avoiding them into our bedrooms if we are not uh, you know comfortable with their hair or anything then we should be including vitamin c and e and also omega 3 fat in our diet next is differentiate between hay fever and asthma so hay fever it is a kind of seasonal allergy okay which uh, the characters are sneezing on uh, the itchiness in our mouth uh, no nasal area and ears and asthma it is a perennial allergy which leads to shortness of breath uh, tiredness and sleeplessness 
Now, fun fact, germs can survive up to three hours on your hands and the prevalence of food and skin allergies, it increased in children under 18 years from this year 1997 to 2011. What is the difference between food allergy and food intolerance? Now, food allergy, it is it involves actually the immune system re re response to our body. But food intolerance is the condition where our body is not able to digest any particular kind of food like some people are lactose intolerant which means they cannot their body cannot digest milk let's do an activity to see what we have learned asthma is one of the major uh, non-infectious disease then we have what is other name of dermatitis it is eczema and then we have Dash allergy happens only during a uh, certain time of year, so it is seasonal. Okay. Okay. So what are the things that we have learned today? We learned about type of allergies, the diagnosis of allergy and the precaution of allergy. So I hope you might have studied and you might have understood everything. We will be meeting in our next session in which we will be learning about many new things. And also if you have uh, missed out on first video, kindly go to see it on the Swiftland channel and we will be meeting in the next class. So thank you everyone.